Hi, I want to give you something that I, I think will help you with relationships. And we all, we all need help with relationships. Relationships are very challenging and very complicated. And sometimes we do good and sometimes it feels like we're really messing up. Uh, years ago, uh, somebody taught me a concept called the emotional bank account that has really helped me. And I don't have a Bible verse for it exactly. It's just, it's more common sense. But uh, it's called the emotional bank account. And what this means is that any relationship that we have is a lot like uh, having a bank account at the bank, a financial bank account. So when you walk into a bank, if you want to open an account, what you have to do is deposit some money. You can't open an account unless you actually make a deposit, first of all. Once you make a deposit, then you have money in the account and you can make withdrawals, but you can only withdraw what you've deposited. Uh, every bank will tell you if you, and you know from experience, we all know this one, if we, if we uh, withdraw or spend too much money, more than we have in our account, we're overdrawn and we go into the red and the bank sends you a little letter warning you, refill that account now or else there's, a, you know, there's gonna be a problem. And if you don't refill the account, you're overdrawn, they will close your account. The bank will simply shut down the account unilaterally. You have no, no choice in the matter. The account's closed and it's over. And, and someone shared a teaching with me years ago that, that uh, uh, our relationships, personal relationships, are a lot like the, the bank account. Uh, so this would be called an emotional bank account. And what happens when you first meet somebody or uh, anybody that you're in relationship with, you have an emotional bank account. And when you first meet someone, you make a deposit by maybe you shake their hand, maybe you smile, maybe you start a conversation, ask them some questions. Uh, that's making a deposit. That's making an emotional deposit in the bank account. Uh, and then if you want to continue, you know, if you both decide you want to continue that relationship, you continue to make emotional deposits into this account. Uh, emotional deposits can be anything like I'm helping somebody, doing someone a favor, listening to them while they talk about a problem, uh, being a friend, uh, just helping them in a time of need. There's all kinds of um, ways to make emotional deposits. This principle works with our, with our families, it works with our uh, wife or husband, it works with our children or grandchildren. Uh, every relationship really functions on this principle of an emotional bank account and people may not consciously realize it, but it's there. And uh, so the way to check and see if you have healthy relationships is to see if you're making more deposits than you are withdrawals. Because if you make too many withdrawals on the, uh, the uh, account, uh, at some point, people will send you, just like the bank, the little letter that says you're overdrawn, you're in trouble, and this relationship is in trouble. And if you don't fix that problem, at some point, the, uh, the other person will unilaterally close your account, and it's, it's over at that point. So uh, what, what kind of uh, ways can you make deposits into your spouse, your children? Um, it's, uh, a lot of it's common sense. If you make a promise, keep the promise. If you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you out you know, this weekend and we're going to do something together, you have to do it, unless there's just a super, super good reason why you can't. Uh, just making time for somebody to spend time, to, to do something together, to sit and talk, anything like that, listening to them, these are all making emotional uh, uh, deposits in your account. And what is a withdrawal, however? If you break a promise, uh, guess what? You've made a withdrawal. If you don't spend time with someone, time is going on and you're not spending time with them, quality time, you're making a withdrawal on that account. Uh, if, you, if they're talking and you're too busy to listen, uh, you're making a withdrawal on the account. If you ask them for a favor, you're making a withdrawal. If you get mad at them, if you give them a dirty look, if you show impatience, you are making a withdrawal on that account. And so if your withdrawals keep adding up and they become more than your deposit, uh, your relationship is in trouble uh, and eventually can be, can be uh, lost. But the good news is if you understand the principle and you use this wisely, you make a lot of quality deposits in the people in your life, the people that are really important to you, and continue to make those deposits and your account will grow very, very rich. You know when you have a lot of money in the bank, you're rich. When you have a lot of emotional deposits in the people you love and care for, you're also very rich in, in your relationship. And that's really what we want. God wants us to have wisdom for our relationships and to have awesome and successful relationships. Mm -hmm.